strangest children's books tales that are much weird than you think. The Little Mermaid The most well-known and beloved version of The Little Mermaid is Disney's 1989 film adaptation. The plot revolves around a young mermaid who falls in love with a human prince. She abandons her family and strikes a bargain with an evil sea witch, surrendering her voice for a set of human legs. Despite their difficulties, the two finally fall in love, marry, and live happily ever after. However, Disney left out a few key details from the original, harrowing story, which was written by Danish children's author Hans Christian Andersen in 1837. To begin, before the mermaid swaps her voice for her legs, she is cautioned that every step she makes would be excruciatingly painful. Indeed, the book describes it as like walking on knives. But that isn't all. Despite falling in love with her, the prince is cruelly forced into an arranged marriage with another girl. The mermaid's sisters emerge from the ocean, heartbroken and in chronic pain, having exchanged all of their hair with the witch for a magical knife. Can you figure out what she has to do with the knife to break the spell? You guessed it right, executed her love as he lies on his marriage bed. But she just can't hold back to do it, and instead, she throws herself into the ocean and mysteriously vanishes into sea foam. So, there is no true love, no happily ever after, only a cheap and efficient funeral. Perhaps Hans Christian Andersen should have titled this story The Little Mermaid Learns Life Isn't Fair. Coraline Many of you will recognize Coraline as the 2009 stop-motion fantasy picture. However, this story began as a children's book written by Neil Gaiman, a writer known for his nightmare-inducing writing. And, despite being a children's book, Coraline is no exception. For those who are unfamiliar with the plot, it revolves around a little girl named Coraline who moves into a new house with her family and discovers a strange, small door. It transports her to a parallel dimension where the food is delicious, the grown-ups pay attention to her, and she has everything she could possibly desire. The only troubling difference is that everyone on this planet has buttons for eyes, but she doesn't mind. That is until she discovers the price she must pay to remain in this realm. She, too, is required to sew buttons into her eyes. When she rejects, as any rational person would, she is abducted and confined alongside the spirits of three button-eyed toddlers who plainly accepted the agreement. It turns out that the primary villain, known as the Beldam, rapidly becomes tired of the youngsters it captures and abandons them to starve. Coraline, on the other hand, finally outwits the Beldam and flees, losing its right hand in the process. The sheer amount of mutilation in this tale is terrifying. In a dark dark room and other scary stories. Alvin Schwartz penned the script. This does not seem menacing at all. But wait until you get to know the whole story. The story begins simply enough, with a small girl named Jenny making friends with a guy named Alfred. Jenny usually wears a green ribbon around her neck, and when he asks her why, she replies cryptically, Someday, I'll tell you. The two grow up, fall in love, and marry, but Jenny never confesses why she wears the ribbon, despite Alfred's persistent probing. That is until she becomes gravely ill and is informed by her doctor that she is passing away. So, she calls Alfred over to her side and tells him he can finally untie the ribbon. When he does, however, his wife's head falls to the ground. It turns out he's been married to a headless zombie for all these years. Did she dupe Alfred into marrying a zombie corpse? That is heinous. And how did Alfred not realize that his wife's head was loose? If it was only held on by a ribbon, he had to have seen her adjust it once or twice. Did he actually miss it? Or maybe he was simply into that kind of thing. But truly this story is gruesome for the children.